Okay, uh, this is not gonna be the world's longest video. I was held up a little bit today. I was hoping to uh, get home and start uh, the watch party so we could all watch the uh, Otter Creek Town Hall, but uh, uh, prayers to, uh, to acting Mayor Zim, who uh, apparently had a medical issue. So, uh, you know, prayers to him, but the, the uh, meeting did not go. This is, I believe, the third meeting in a row. Glory, hop on in. And uh, that is a problem for the town. And here's why. So right now, you have three people, two of which, uh, Joseph and Carl, who have qualified for seats and they have not been seated. And that's been going on uh, since uh, February. And then you have uh, Laura Mott, who has now also qualified for a seat and has not been seated. And the problem with uh, these delays is now you have potential lawsuits. Uh, so Carl and Joseph, they could sue separately. They could sue together and say that their rights are being violated because they've qualified for a seat on town council and uh, they have not been seated to that council. And all these delays are, uh, are uh, what I'll say, violating their rights to represent the people. So uh, they could uh, potentially sue Otter Creek and say that, you know, by all these delays, we have been denied our rights. So uh, that's, the, that's the position we are getting into now. I would imagine, I know that, because uh, I was watching Brett's uh, stream on Madam Mayor Adventures. Make sure you go check them out. Make sure you, you subscribe to them. But uh, I would imagine that was what um, uh, the, um, the lawyer, I, was, um, I would imagine that's what she was having a conversation with Carl about. Because Carl and Joseph definitely now have the standing for a lawsuit uh, because they've been denied their ability to essentially govern and represent the people. So I look, I look for there to be some type of special, not so much a meeting, because I don't believe there's anything in Florida that requires a meeting to swear in uh, town hall officials, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's at a, a meeting of the board of electors or uh, whatever they, they call them there. I, but I think it is board of, of elections or board of electors. Uh, it varies throughout the country. Uh, I would be, I would potentially see where they say, okay, just come in and we will swear you in where an officer of the board will swear you in. And then you are officially uh, a town council member because failure to do so now is an infringement of your rights. You have done everything you, you needed to qualify for the position, and now they're being denied the position um, by just lack of action. So that's my take on it. Um, we'll see if Carl or Joseph want to take legal action or if the board decides just to bring them in or if they're going to do a special election or the, a special meeting. Uh, all that is on the table. Uh, I'm sure the lawyer is now probably going to be concerned about that. Uh, they might not be very vocal about that, but I guarantee you it is absolutely a concern. So that's my reaction to tonight's non-council meeting. So thank you everyone for joining me. And as always, thank you for being worth serving.